So hi everyone, I'm Tim Quinn. I am one of the founders of Rome. Uh, lucky to have you all here from the Travel Miles uh, group. Super excited to demo Rome for you and answer any questions you may have. So we started Rome mainly to solve our own issue. We were sending anywhere from 10 to 30 hours per trip because we wanted to find that uh, super elusive first class or business class redemption. And we're like, hey, why don't we just create it for ourselves to save time? And then once we did that, we thought it was such a cool tool. We wanted to release it to the community just because it's been such a joy um, joining the Points and Miles community. I've been doing this since 2011. Uh, so it's been a great time. Uh, so Rome, we currently search across 12 different airline programs, uh, helping you find the best redemptions. You can sort, uh, pick any date or destination you want to go to. Um, with that being said, um, I can jump into a demo and then I'll leave a lot of time for um, questions or any specific routes you want to see. Let me get the screen sharing up. Again. Do you all see my screen? Okay, perfect. So when you log into Rome, this is really what you see. Uh, super simple, just like Google Flights or any other type of travel search engine. Uh, you have origin, destination, uh, as well as date you want to select for. Uh, we currently only search one way, but we'll add a uh, round trip soon. I will note that uh, for award pricing, two one ways are the same as one round trip for the vast majority of airline programs. Obviously, there are some exceptions. I think ANA is one of them. Uh, so you shouldn't be as worried because I know for cash pricing, round trips a lot cheaper uh, than one way. We search by business first and also allow you to search for any of the economy classes as well. Uh, you can also search by the number of passengers uh, you would like to have. So um, we require a login just because we've been having some issues with um, a bot taking down our network. So it's really simple to create an account. I'm just going to log in. Uh, we use a magic link format. Uh, this is for both our security and yours. So you don't have to memorize all these different passwords and it makes it easier for us to manage uh, the security on the back end. So I'm just quickly log in. Uh, you can also use uh, login with Gmail, and Gmail handles all of that login and security for you. So you log in, you'll get a screen that says check your email. So when you check your email, just make sure to check your spam, uh, because sometimes they like to put us in spam. So go in my email, click the link, and voila, locked in, no passwords needed. So I was already searching this flight, so I might as well just search this flight. So I was helping a friend search Paris back to New York City. So Charles de Gaulle to EWR uh, on June 6th, which is coming up really quickly. Click search. Um, that populated actually faster than I expected. But so here's the results. You can scroll down. I've already uh, pre-selected some filters. I've not stopped. Uh, let me just clear that so you can see the full results. You can see there's a bunch of results and it scrolls all the way down. So it filters are helpful. I'm sorting it by lowest points. You can obviously sort by departure time or shortest flight duration uh, to the extent you would like to. And we have the various programs that serve uh, Charles de Gaulle to New York City. You can see here. I'm going to pick um, Flying Blue Air France just because it's France that we're going to. Click apply, that sorts by anything that has a flight uh, that you can redeem on the Flying Blue uh, loyalty program. You can see the flights here. So this seems like the best one. Uh, it's 41,000 points. Obviously the price, cash price is a little bit more, uh, but here you'll be flying on the Air France Boeing 777. Uh, I'm just going to try uh, 
another type of search and feel free to uh, mention in the chat any questions you have or any searches you want me to do. So a lot of times with booking with points, you're either booking 360 days or 350 days in the future to get the best deals, or you're booking within two weeks of travel, right? So the T minus 14. So let's say I want to go from San Francisco, which is where we're based, to Tokyo, because uh, they just reopened a few months ago. And why don't we say like, why don't we go tomorrow? Let's see what shows up here. So you can see here, quickly populates. And there's a cheap 60,000 points with um, Japan Airlines that you can redeem on American Airlines. And it's not stop from Mexico to Haneda. You can see all the flight information below. So obviously, American Airlines, uh, you can transfer points to them, uh, currently built and on, uh, bonvoying transfer points to a advantage so you can book. Um, and you can here see below, uh, you can also book with Alaska. Obviously, Alaska has fewer transfer partners, or you can book the same flight for a much more expensive price at 160,000 points with flying blue, or even more expensive with United. So that's the beauty of Rome. Uh, we search across the airline programs for you, so you don't have to spend hours on each one of them. Um, with that being said, I'm going to take a moment to see if there are any questions. Uh, feel free to unmute yourself uh, if you have questions. If no questions, um, I can do a few more searches. Where are you all there? So uh, let's see. Why don't I, you know, let's see if we can go Boston and Rome. I know that's a popular time, popular place to go for the summer. And let's go July 4th. Let's see what we find there. Um, so you see it's populating and searching through all the different airline programs. Uh, maybe we'll find a good deal here. So you can see what's already populated. So, um, British Airways always a little bit hard just because they charge so uh, many fees, right? Um, Swiss Air, that's, that looks like actually a great redemption through Aeroplan. It's business class both legs. Uh, you will be making a layover in Zurich, but uh, Swiss Air has some of the nicest products for their business. Uh, class seat. Uh, so you might want to book that. This is actually very rarefying because you're going peak summer season to Rome from the US. Let's check the question. Yes, our website is rome.travel. Uh, how we came up with uh, Rome was, I mean, we love Rome, Italy, and uh, it's a combination of Rome, Italy, and Rome as in roaming around. That's how we came up with the name. Uh, question from Norma. As a non-booking person, I've always used a booking agent. It's nice to see what programs transfer to. Uh, yes. And in the future, we'll also be adding more educational materials uh, to help, uh, especially beginners or people who haven't done this extensively in the past, uh, walk through this process. Right now, we already have guides, getting started room, all the transfers, and some of the credit card options there. Will there be an option to filter by aircraft? So that's definitely something that we can add in the future. Obviously, that's a more advanced um, set of filtering options. So right now, in terms of what we're looking on building is we're first focused on making sure we can add more airline programs and we're working through a constellation of those to get them uh, added so you all can uh, have more optionality, right? And then obviously throughout the entire process, we want to keep this uh, simple, easy to use and very fast. This uh, airline only includes uh, 12. Right now, one of them has is not technically fully released. That was, that's Alaska. So you can see um, all the airlines we cover in the About Us page. 
right down here. We cover Air Mexico, Air Canada, Air France slash Flying Blue, American, Avianca, Delta, Emirates, Iberia, JetBlue, United, Virgin, and Alaska, which we uh, haven't fully launched yet. Is this only for international flights? Nope, you can use it for domestic flights as well. Um, let's, let's just do a flight. Let's do Boston to NYC. And let's just do the same date, July 4th. So obviously you're gonna have a lot more optionality. I'm only switching business first, but happy to switch to economy. Uh, so you see all these options. Let me switch to the economy and just so you all can see that. So here we go. Uh, we only want nonstop because it's such a short flight. But here, you can see all the domestic options, JetBlue, Delta here, American. Um, there you go. Let's see, any more questions? There's always some issue with Zoom that you're not expecting. Do you have to work with airlines in order to include them in the Rome searches or do they not have to be involved? So the beauty of Rome is all we're doing is taking publicly available data and presenting it to you all uh, in a more organized fashion so you can save time. So um, that's why we make it super fast, easy for you all to use. There are no other questions or as I wait for a few other questions, I know people have asked, are we gonna uh, offer a subscription? What's the future like? We plan on keeping everything you see here today, the 12 different airline programs, for um, open you all for free. Uh, that's what we plan to do. Uh, in the future, obviously, there's heavy feature, uh, feature requests, whether that's for multi-day search, multi-region search. We're working on all of, the, all of those. It's very complex. So we might offer that as sort of like a premium tier, uh, but that's way down the, uh, down the road from here. So it should work with all browsers. Um, obviously you have to be on the most updated version or else there could be some issues that pop up. And if you see any issues um, in any of the browsers you do use, please let us know. We'll try to get that fixed as soon as possible. Um, Sarah has a question. How does it differ from Google Flights? Well, so we only give you award, um, the award points information. We don't, Google Flights only does cash fares um, and no one besides us searches award flights uh, this quickly, this fast and this reliably. No, if there are any other questions, happy to answer them. If there are other future requests or uh, things you would like to see, also feel free to let me know. So Rome gives you real-time data of all the routes that you can book right now with using points and miles. There's no um, theoretical. What you see in Rome is what you can book immediately afterwards when you go to that airline program itself. So for example, let's just stick with uh, Boston to New York on July 4th. Uh, right now, it's saying 6,000 points Aeroplan, you can book uh, the Sinaian flight. So right now, you can go to Aeroplan, which is Air Canada's um, loyalty program, and book 
that's why this is how it's important. We don't do any manual sort of uh, finding. We don't or searching. We don't do any sort of inferred pricing. This is exactly what you would see on the airline website themselves. Tim, may I ask a question, please? Of course. So I'm still kind of learning about travel hacking and I haven't done a whole lot of point redemption. So this is super exciting for me. So this might be a basic question. So if I see a fare that says maybe it's 45,000 points on a flight I want, I book it right there or I still have to go to that airline and get into the their own travel rewards and book it on their site. Let's say it's a let's say it's American Airlines. So then do I have to go to American Airlines and book it or I book it through your site? Got it, yeah, that's a good question. So we are informational data only. We don't handle any of your points or writing any of the booking. So you would have to go in your case, if you saw that 45K great redemption, you have to go to American Airlines and book. Uh, we just show you, hey, this is available right now and uh, which credit card programs can transfer to it um, and which programs you wanna use. So with the ones that are showing there, you'd actually go to Aeroplan, not United. It shows United on the left, but yes. Aeroplan would be the place that has that. Yes, so uh, what is basically showing on the left is which aircraft uh, airline you're flying on. So in this case, you're flying on United, but on the right is showing where you would book it. So it's the Aeroplan loyalty program for Air Canada. Let me just check the chat. Um, are the prices shown per person or for all passengers if searching for more than one? So we show prices on a per person basis. Uh, when you search for more than one person, it just shows you whether it's available at that price for the number of passengers you search for. Uh, let's just do this right now. So let's change that to two and make another search. So it's going through all the programs right now. We'll finish up in a few seconds. So uh, the 6,000 points through Aeroplan flying on United, uh, there are two tickets for it uh, and you can book for two people at that price. Are there any other questions? Uh, if not, um, I'll leave it up to Norma and Eileen uh, if they want to continue it. So you can search based on how many seats uh, or passengers you want, which is the, um, I'll show you right here. We, uh, just because of the nature of the data, we can't show you, hey, there are X, Y, Z number of seats. You just have to do a new search. Can I ask a question? Sure. So I know, I think when you had showed the list of the, the 11 programs that uh, JetBlue was in there, Yes. And when I'm searching, so like I'm searching, it's actually a route I just booked from like Boston to Cancun. Mm -hmm. um, and in my list of, um, in the, in the list of programs, like JetBlue doesn't even show up. Mm. Like I wasn't getting results and I thought maybe it wasn't checked off in the programs, but it's not listed in programs at all. That's good to know. Which date are you looking at? Uh, Boston to Cancun, December 5th. Like right Is now, it? there's yeah. no questions. It's and it's still available on the low is 7,400 points. Because I just, I had booked for 13,000. I just changed to 7,400. So you're getting it. Weird. Like when I go into programs, it's like JetBlue is not even on the list. 
And this is for Boston to Cancun on December 5th. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I'll save this down. My advice, if you ever get weird issues, is to yeah. just close your browser and start a new one, maybe re-log in. Okay. Uh, if you're still having issues, this is generally for everyone. Um, also clearing your, making sure your browser is updated to the latest version and clearing your cache uh, and your his browser history also helps just because we're constantly updating this and improving this every single day. So there, sometimes there might be some minor glitches throughout, uh, but that should be ironed out really quickly. Also feel free to just email me or ping me. Um, our email is hello at roam.travel. Thank you. Of course. See, any more questions? Is there or will there be an option to search from and to multiple destinations? Uh, that's very highly in demand. I'll just say this, stay tuned. Uh, keep an eye out uh, for our emails. <laughs> Any other questions from anyone here? Here, I see your question. Um, when you do this search, uh, I don't know if you're taking this, uh, did you check to make sure it's business versus economy? Because sometimes I have the issue as well for me. Uh, that might be it because they don't have first class. That might be it. I'll try that. Thank you. Of course. Well, if there's uh, no other questions. Uh, oh, looks like Carol said uh, works with the class. Uh, awesome, that's great. If there are no other questions, uh, we can just wrap it up here today. I'll clean up this video and send it to Norma and Eileen for them to post. I'll probably up, also upload it to uh, YouTube uh, if, if it makes it easier. But thank you all for joining. Uh, super happy to share a room with you all and um, keep an eye out for email with uh, updates and improvements. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tim.